Hi. It's been a while. Uh, just, you know, wanted to say hi. And how you doing? Not really much is going on in this world. Um, you know, there's people protesting this, protesting that. People who own this and own that. It, it, it's really great to be a part of a world where no matter where you turn, really, you can't have complete control over everything. I mean, there's this uh, great joke that I love to go back to where um, Soros and uh, Murdoch you know, Murdoch who owns Fox Corporation and news and all that kind of stuff. And Soros who owns a lot of uh, supposedly liberal things and stuff like that. And they're having a chess game. And like one day one wins so they get to do this. And the other day the other one wins and they get to do this. And um, to the side, uh, Glenn Beck and uh, O'Reilly is on the side of... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll say he's they're on the side of Murdoch and Maddow and others are on the side of Soros and then they're all like cheerleaders I mean really what it comes down to there is no originality I mean we know the schools are not teaching anything we know that the news isn't saying anything we know it's all about buy this buy that don't have this. You don't have this, so be jealous of that person. Um, if you don't have this, you're going to be on the street, and then um, we'll give you a certain amount of money per month, and then we'll blame you for the problems, and it creates this entire circle. And then here, here's a tea party. Make, make yourself feel like you're doing something. Here's Occupy Wall Street. Make you think like you're actually doing something. When people basically, on all levels, are profiting from either side which profiteering creates jobs and that's always a good thing but it's always in limitations and then certain people make certain things I mean I mean I'm gonna be a capitalist right now I mean I have something for sale and it's called books of poetry next will be a novel and um, I act and all that kind of stuff but it, it's always trying to sell something or you having to work for something and you, I have a lot of friends who have jobs and supposedly real jobs and they went to school for something and they're doing something completely different and they're working I mean even the language that I'm speaking right now I didn't have any creation over it there is no originality of what I am stating because the words that I am uttering become that become um, fragments, sentences, paragraphs, stories, poetry, love letters, or whatever. I didn't create. I just say it because that's how I was taught. And um, it's always kind of funny to me when it really pisses me off actually when the, like say Christians want to take their kids out of school and then um, teach and, and, and like they, they it's like it's like everything is brainwashed there is no thinking anymore I mean as much as I hate the founding fathers they had at least a literalization or the ability to critique everything around them we don't critique we just go, oh, you're stupid, meh, 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 and then run away from the person. We have things like Facebook, and, and, and there, there is no thought pattern, no real thinking anymore. Some of it's due to the, um, we're subjugated to TV, some of it's due to that we're subjugated to these horrible jobs that really do nothing for us. And, um, I mean, a, in a job, the ideal you should be happy and you should be getting something that you're you know you, you believe in but we're forced into these things where we have to work for something and we're doing all the work and someone's profiteering off of us slavery still exists it's just not now one a few groups of people because now 
those who the one percent that we're calling, they're they're black, they're white, they're Native American, they're all sort, they're women, they're men. I mean, and then those are, and then the ninety nine percent are women, men, gays, lesbians, and gays and lesbians are in the one percent. Transgenders are in the one percent. It's all about th there is no cohesion of who we're fighting. It's not just the fat white man who's in control of everything anymore because now that pot has been lifted and um, who was behind the um, proverbial mayor? We don't know. They're, they are there. But we don't know what they look like because now they're a mirror of us. And it's even more scary. But also too it would be more scarier for someone like me to be in control because I would do crazy shit too because the people down underneath living under the bridge they would get backing what they would do who would know but we need to get more exploitive of our own per personal lives and live and do the things that we want to do we can Get out of this crap that we're in right now. There is nothing that we need from the government. We don't even need the government. We don't even need the cops. Or the lawyers. Or the schools. All you gotta do is know the basics and get, your, and get yourself together. And process things and move on. And it, it takes... If it takes going through the childishness of he said this and I said this and you should be like this and you should do like this, we have to get through these growing pains to get to an actual reality of being. And um, where we're right now, we're still in these dark ages. Right now is the dark ages. And um, everything has been messed up for quite some time. It's nothing new. We know that there are certain people who control and profit everything. When I buy a shirt with the anarchy symbol on it, there's a capitalist out there profiteering off of that. When Tea Party, there's people who, who are putting out Tea Party stuff who believe nothing, who believe nothing of what the Tea Party says but they're profiteering off of that. And it just goes hand in hand in hand in hand and it goes back to George Soros and uh, Murdoch playing a little chess game. But they themselves are pawns too. So in essence, they're, we're all pawns. Even the rich, the poor, the supposed middle class, um, what we need to do maybe is create new letters, new numbers, get to new ideas, get to new thinking, scream, yell, invent, create, dream, give, be. That's all I could really say. That's all I know. Because I'm just a, I am just the catalyst for something coming along. Because right now, all I can be is a light in the darkness. Because right now, we are living in the dark ages. I see nothing but darkness around. That's me.